Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic, and today we're looking at the ACLU. What is it? Where did it start? In a nutshell, the ACLU is the American Civil Liberties Union. To all of our viewers abroad, you likely haven't heard of this. The ACLU was started back in the 1920s, as Russia was home to the Communist Revolution and America was fearful of a similar fate. So the government began deporting non-US citizens and arresting people for thoughts alone, no warrant and no regards to the Constitution. To defend these people, up came the ACLU, alive today with more than 1.7 million members, including attorneys and staff ready to defend at a moment's notice. They typically fight when the government overreaches, defending individual freedoms such as freedom of speech, religion, a woman's right to choose, one's right to due process, the right to your personal privacy, and more. Let's look at some examples. The state of Tennessee banned the teaching of evolution, so the ACLU worked with biology teacher John T. Scopes in what would become known as the Scopes Trial. Yes, Scopes was found guilty, but it raised awareness of the overreach of government. In fact, the ACLU lost quite a few high-profile cases, but these cases helped to educate and inform the public on court proceedings that they might have normally not known about. The ACLU has been a strong advocate for free speech, winning many cases of individuals who weren't allowed to say their piece, including people distributing banned books or distributing literature such as sex education pamphlets and communities promoting only abstinence. They defended a man's ability to wave a communist flag in public. Throughout the 1930s and beyond, they also expanded to cover new types of proceedings, including helping to pass a federal law that prevented employers from not allowing their workers to unionize. They also worked to hold police accountable in an era where confessions were easily forged. Now we're listing a lot of cases here, but they weren't always popular with the public. The ACLU defends everyone equally without agenda. They have a history of supporting religious fringe groups, such as the Jehovah's Witnesses who were not allowed to distribute their marketing or where children were penalized for not saluting the flag, because Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in that. The ACLU defended the Ku Klux Klan, that it was their right to hold meetings, and even a singular member that was advocating for eventual violence against the government. And the ACLU won that case, since only advocating imminent danger is prohibited. In 2017, the ACLU did release a statement that it would no longer defend the free speech of hate groups protesting with firearms. The ACLU is not government funded. In fact, their only income is paid member dues and donations from private individuals or foundations. They've seen a jump in donations over the past few years, notably during the four years of the Trump presidency, leaping from about $100 million a year to nearly $300 million a year in contributions. If you're interested in learning more, their information is in the description, but you can also continue this research on your own if you see the value in defending one's freedoms, even when it's unpopular. Thank you for watching and hopefully you found this interesting.